Hey there, I'm Sarah Zach, and I'm the Pollution Prevention Specialist for Illinois Indiana Sea Grant and Illinois Extension. And I'm here today to talk to you about water pollution. Water pollution is when harmful stuff like chemicals and trash and bacteria and even extra nutrients end up in our streams and rivers and lakes and even can end up in the water we drink and the water we use at home. Pollutants can be split into two main types. First is point source pollution. These are pollutants that come from a specific source, like a wastewater treatment plant or a factory. Since we know exactly where this pollution is coming from, it's often much easier to manage and may even be regulated by the government. Next, we have non-point source pollution. This stuff comes from all over, like runoff from farms and streets and our lawns. Agriculture is widespread in Illinois, and the fertilizers and pesticides that are used on crops can run off into streams and rivers. Same thing happens with our lawns when we apply things like weed and feed products, uh, they can wash off after a rainstorm. This type is trickier to control because it comes from many different places. Often it's accidental and there aren't really laws about this kind of pollution. Some pollutants come right from our homes. Things like unwanted medicine and microplastics and rock salt can wash into our storm drains or end up in our wastewater. These pollutants may wash into streams and may even end up in our drinking water. Water pollution can have serious impacts. It can harm animals and plants that live in water, and this can also make it difficult for us when we want to fish or swim or go boating. Polluted water can cause health problems if we drink it or bathe in it or use it for cooking and cleaning. And even though the levels of pollutants in our water aren't generally high enough to cause immediate problems, research is still really ongoing about the long-term health effects of things like microplastics and unwanted medicines in the water. Pregnant women and kids might be at special risk. Our food supply could also be at risk if the water that we use to grow crops is polluted. So as you can see, water pollution really affects all of us. But the good news is that it's preventable. So we all have a part to play in keeping our waters healthy and clean and pollution free. Stay tuned to this series to see ways that you can help protect our water resources.